Uh, let's wake these systems up and kind of show you what they look like when they're in parallel mode. I've got a couple of uh, heat guns, which are one of our favorite loads uh, here at Energy <laughs> for a lot of historical reasons. But they're a great high demand AC load that we can use to demonstrate the parallel function. So both systems are already paralleled. You can see that right here we just have the AC cable going from the AC output on this system to the charge input on this system. That's how they parallel. There's, that's really all there is to it. There is a little switch on the side you have to switch to put it into parallel mode, but it's really self-explanatory. So I'll just wake these systems up really quick. All right, so now we've got them both set up, and I'll start these heat guns so you can see. Um, I'll start the first one. Okay, so you can see on this one we're running about a 1500 watt load. That's one heat gun running continuously. It's sharing the load 50% between this unit and that unit. That one's running about 724 watts. Uh, this is about the maximum that most um, home circuits are designed to carry. A little bit more than 1500 watts, maybe up to 1800. We'll start up this other heat gun. So now I've got the second one going. We're going to spool that power up. Now we're at 1700 watts total, 1900. Let's take it all the way to 2,000. So now we've got a 2,000 watt load that's being run continuously by this system right here. This would flip any breaker in a traditional home circuit, and the X2 is handling it just fine. Nice. So really when, sorry, that was kind of loud. So when both systems are combined, basically what it's doing is it's sharing the AC load between the two systems. So it'll, you'll see about 50% of that load on this one, and the total AC load will be displayed on this LCD that's actually providing power to the device.